Hi, welcome to Screencasts looking at water surplus and water deficits on a global scale. The aim of this is just to look at the background issues behind it. So there's going to be no exam question at the end of it. It's just going to be a really quick, snappy um, idea looking at these issues. First up, key concepts, surplus and deficit. Surplus is having too much sign deficit is not having enough of something and this becomes particularly prevalent when we look at water and there are two reasons behind this first off we've got surplus which is a relationship where there is more rainfall than evapotranspiration or evaporation and transpiration and then deficit occurs where there is less rainfall than evapotranspiration or evaporation and transpiration if we then look at this at a global scale we have this map in front of us which looks at water surplus and water deficit issues now some areas of the world experience large amounts of rainfall but still end up in water deficit due to the amount of heat. One example of these areas on the equator here, um, in particular Ethiopia and Kenya, where they have large amounts of rainfall but it's unseasonal, um, sorry, it's seasonal and therefore the high, high temperatures manage to evaporate large amounts of water. These areas here particularly experience water deficit because it's so hot okay and there's very little rainfall there um, so you end up with large areas of high pressure Australia is the same as is this area of the USA which ironically enough includes Las Vegas this area experiences water surplus huge amount of rainfall very little evaporation well there is some evaporation and transpiration but it combines and you end up with more rainfall than deficit and all of these areas are the same but what happens in most places is you end up with some kind of balance OK, um, and this and this is the relationship which occurs around the globe between water surplus and water deficit. You'll notice that not all areas of each continent are the same. In particular, if you look, have a look at Europe, OK, we have water deficit areas in southern Spain, in uh, Romania, Turkey and Greece. And then if you consider Africa, you've got Northern Africa and Southern Africa, which experience large scale water deficits. But then you've got Central Africa on the band of the equator, which experiences a water deficit to a certain extent, but in some places water surplus. Now, the key thing behind this is a couple of reasons. Number one, convectional rainfall. Along the equator, you experience lots of convectional rainfall and therefore you end up with areas of high water surplus. In these areas, you end up with low levels of rainfall because there's no water to evaporate in the first place. Therefore, you don't get rain. OK, um, in the UK, this can be simplified down a bit more when you have relief rainfall affecting one side of the area, one side of the country as opposed to the other side of the country. That really summarizes the concepts of surplus and deficit. So thank you for this screencast.